In the autumn of 2014, beet western yellows virus spread across South Australia's cropping districts, decimating thousands of hectares of canola. The virus then began appearing in Victorian and New South Wales crops, and in response to the escalating spread and severity of the disease outbreak, the Grains Research and Development Corporation released $315,000 in emergency funding. It was to be used for the rapid identification of infection levels, communication of control advice and forensic analysis. I think really the weather patterns have been the major influence as to why we've got such severe virus this year. Dr Jenny Davidson is a member of the forensic team. We had a lot of rain in February and again in April, so there's a lot of broadleaf weeds um, grew up over the autumn period. That provided a reservoir for aphid and virus. Then what the second thing that happened was in late May, early June, we had unseasonably warm conditions. And so what happened then was that the aphid population just started to multiply. They loved those warm conditions and they increased in numbers exponentially. These were green peach aphids, the primary carrier of beet western yellows virus. Weather wasn't the only influence on the level of infection. Where canola had been sown into standing wheat stubble, the virus seemed to have less impact compared to canola in paddocks where stubble had been removed. Our understanding of aphids is that they are attracted to bare earth. So if you remove the stubble, they're more likely to land in that area. And that's obviously what we saw in, a, uh, in particular in a trial up around the Riverton area. And it was like draw drawing a line across the paddock where the aphids had moved in to the stubble removed area and completely destroyed those plants. But right where the stubble was standing, we have relatively healthy plants, but the impact on yield will be absolutely enormous. Other farm management strategies also appear to have influenced the spread of the aphids and virus. Weed control and early sowing are being scrutinised. There's a strategy these days, particularly with early sowing, if we've had a wet summer and they are able to get their crop in early, to just um, come in with a boom spray and, and spray out the weeds and then immediately come in with the cedar to plant the crop um, straight after the boom spray has left the paddock. And this is to get the crop in really early to get a higher yield at the end of the year. However, if we think that what might have happened this year is that as the weeds died off, the canola crop was coming out of the ground and so the aphids moved directly over to the canola seedlings and caused the damage that we see this year. Anecdotal evidence will be qualified by the results of a survey undertaken as part of the forensic analysis. Canola is most susceptible to beet western yellows virus as a seedling. Leaves turn a purple and yellow colour and eventually drop off. Plants try to regrow but struggle to recover. That's exactly right and that's, that's what we've seen here in South Australia is quite a number of crops were infected at the rosette stage and so they were very severely damaged. Some farmers have actually ploughed them in or sprayed them out because they realised that they were not going to be able to harvest anything from them and they've replanted them with barley. Those crops infected after rosette stage escape the worst of the damage but yields will be affected. They appear to grow quite well and, and the crops are looking quite, quite good. But the information we have from people from Western Australia who've done some trial work on this is that they could lose 20% of their yield, but the growers won't know that because that sort of fits within the variability of a year-to-year -year variation in yield. And we don't have any um, un uninfected areas within crops to make that comparison. So I think there's probably going to be a yield depression across the southern cropping region, but not something we can really put a figure on. A management practice that had a hand in repelling the aphid attack was the use of insecticide seed dressings. However, canola being such a small seed, it only gets a small amount of insecticide on it. So it's only a matter of four to five weeks before that insecticide is worn off. So that at a later stage, the aphids are coming back in and are infecting the crop. But it appears as though what that seed dressing is doing is allowing the crop to get past that vulnerable rosette stage so that the infection isn't causing as much damage. Jenny Davidson, Sardi's senior pulse pathologist. The green peach aphid is the most efficient vector of beet western yellows virus. 
And next, Saudi entomologist Greg Baker takes up the story. <laughs> 